Hello everybody, this is Money Mom. Welcome back to the channel. I'm especially excited about this video today because I'm doing a collab with a really sweet YouTuber named Minimalism Ann. I know many of you have seen her extremely encouraging, thoughtful, and kind comments. I love reading her comments. And today we're going to talk about what do you do when you're overwhelmed. I'm especially excited to watch her video because even though I'm doing a video on this topic about I'm so overwhelmed, what am I going to do? I have come up with some tools that I am now using, but I have a lot of work to be done in this area, so I'm sure I can learn from Anne and all of you. So let me get right into this topic about what do you do when you're really overwhelmed or you're stressed out? You could use any of those terms. The first thing that I do is number one is I ask why am I overwhelmed I think that's th the first thing that we need to do in my opinion everybody may be overwhelmed and for a different reason some it may be personal things it may be work related for me one of the biggest reasons I feel overwhelmed is when everybody is needing something from me at the same time and everything that's being needed is urgent you know it's a crisis type thing and when everybody's pulling at you from different directions, that's what really overwhelms me. And I'm still working on that. And I'm going to tell you some of the things I came up with. Number two, what I do then is write down a list of the most important things that I need to get done. Because for me, I could write down 50 things that need to be done. Some could be work, some could be personal, or just any type of item that I feel may be important. Number three, I circle the most important and prioritize it. And with that, I start working on the most important thing. Number four, one of the things I just started doing, and I'm going to give you guys an update on this, I am now doing something called block scheduling. I'm scheduling a certain amount of time for something. So let's say I'm working on a task and I do not want to be interrupted. What was happening to me before is I could be working on a task and something else would interrupt that task. Then I would lose momentum because that person was in crisis and I would go help that person while I was already working on this task. Well, by the time I got back to this task, I had lost my momentum, which means I lost out on a lot of time and I'm wasting time. So I block things out now for me for 15 minute increments and I work on whatever task it is. If someone needs me, a lot of times now I'm just letting things go to voicemail. After that 15 minutes or whenever I've finished with that task, then I will go see what that person needs. I'm no longer jumping back and forth and back and forth and back and forth because honestly, I was wasting a lot of time and I think tasks took me way longer because I didn't do that block scheduling. I mean, everyone thinks their task and what they want you to do for them is the most important, right? Well, it'd be like if you're a parent and say you have four children all around kind of that young age. We'll say four children age eight and under, and they all want you for somebody something. One person wants a glass of juice. One person wants a snack. One wants you to help them dress. One wants you to play with them. You obviously can't do all those things at once, right? So you have to kind of prioritize or, you know, because it's difficult for me multitasking or thinking I can multitask overwhelms me. So I need to do one thing at a time and prioritize. And this is something I'm still working on. I'll let you know about the block scheduling. And I'll be honest with you guys, it does, I do feel a little bit guilty when I don't just help somebody right away when they need it and have them waiting on me. I do feel bad about that. But I just can't be pulled into so many directions because when I do, I become overwhelmed and then I can't do anything. And I'm no good to anybody when I do that. So that's one of the things that I'm doing is the block scheduling, 15 minute increments, and then prioritizing all my tasks, what's the most important. Which brings me to number five, and this is the most challenging thing of all, and I could definitely use some advice from all of you. And I just met somebody the other day that owns a company, and this is their company's motto. We've heard it before. Sometimes all you can do is do the best you can and control the controllable. If there's some things that you have no way of controlling, you have to sometimes let it go. For example, let's say you've got some work to do, 
and your internet's down and you're not able to get out to go get Wi-Fi somewhere and your internet is going to be down for a few hours they're working on some lines and you've got a deadline well you know what that's out of your control all you can do is contact the company and say we don't have working internet right now I'm not able to get out to go to where there's working internet as soon as it's up I'll play catch up and get to my work that is the biggest challenge for me is when I don't have control over something. I can control myself, but if I'm dependent on other people or there's things out of my control, it could even be weather, it could be something's not working with technology or internet, it could be anything. That's the most difficult is sometimes I have to let things go and some people may not even be happy about it, but just to do what you can do and ask yourself, is there anything I can do about this situation? If there is, go ahead and take some action steps to make that happen. If there isn't, communicate to whoever it is, hey, this I can't control the situation right now. There's nothing I can do. As soon as there is, I will take some action steps to make it happen. But right now, this is out of my control. So, And I gave you just an example for that one. Okay, number six, which I think is really important, take some time for yourself. One thing I'd like to start doing is get outside more, especially now that it's getting cooler here in Texas. Get outdoors more. Read a book. You know, find something to laugh about. Make sure to schedule some time just for you to do things you enjoy and unplug from the rest of the world because I do think we need to re-energize ourselves. These are just some of the things that I may do when I'm overwhelmed. And to be honest with you guys, it's still a process for me and it's something I'm working on because I'm a perfectionist and I do want to please everybody and I want to make sure I do a really good job on everything, but sometimes it's just not always possible. Let me know what you guys think. I'd love to know from you. What do you do when you're really overwhelmed or you're stressed out? Give me some steps and tools you use because we can all learn from each other and encourage each other. By the way, I want to say thank you to Minimalism and please go and look at her video on this topic. I know she's going to have a lot of great tips. That's all I have to say for now. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you on tomorrow morning's video. Bye-bye.